when you're given a question like this and you're given a number which has a decimal point you are asked in here to round to the nearest tens round to the nearest hundred thousands and round to the nearest hundredth you need to recognize a couple of rules that we talked about on our previous video and looking at how rounding is going to be important in terms of approximation which is not only what we're going to do now but later in the future we're going to look at a little example here and in here we need to recognize a couple of steps in order for we to accomplish this particular question and so first is we need to assign the following place values to the specific digits on this number and we're going to start from our decimal point and move to the left because we are familiar with that and we're going to start off with the following 4 is recognized as what the ones which is its place value 5 is recognized as in this case the tens then our six is recognized as hundreds followed by our seven which is represented or recognized as thousands next is our eight is recognized as our ten thousands and finally our nine is recognized as our hundred thousands on the other hand after the decimal point to the right we need to recognize that yes r3 is not only written in the form in terms of the place value as one tenth but also it is known as the tenth next is r2 is not only recognized in terms of the place value to be one hundredth this is also written as what a hundredth and next is in this case r1 is recognized as not only its place value to be what one over one thousand but also is written as what thousands and so once we're able to assign this to all the digits and their specific place value we are now going to use these assigned place values on these numbers to determine the number to the nearest 10 and in this case here what we have to do is the question asks for your tens which means that this is our target this is our target place value that we're going to look for on our number and so once we find that which in this case on our number is here and this translates to our number five we are now going to look at the next step which is the digit that is right after our tens to the right the ones and the ones here is represented as our number or digit four therefore we're going to ask for in this particular question four hey are you that is the question are you greater than or equal to five or are you less than five in this case here four is less than five therefore it means that our target digit will remain the same and therefore in this case since 5 is our target digit it means that 5 won't change and then all digits that are after will be 0 therefore our final answer will be 9 8 7 6 5 0 0.000, 000, 000 or you can just write it as removing all the decimal digits after the decimal points include the decimal and you're left with nine eight seven six five zero so that is how you're able to round to the nearest tens the next question i'm going to ask you here is round to the nearest hundred thousands and this year please you can use this strategy that will be helpful but there will be a little bit of a twist here because now that we are going to be looking at our hundred thousands 
we see that this year is going to be focusing on our target digit and our target digit here is going to be shown as what nine and since nine is our target digit we're going to ask the digit that is right after the hundred thousands in this case ten thousands digit which is in this part eight we're going to ask it hey eight are you what are you greater than or equal to or are you less than five if you're greater than or equal to five then it means in this case truly it is we are going to add one to our nine however if eight is less than five it means that nine remains the same but in this case eight is greater than five or equal to five therefore our nine is going to be plus one and so what happens now is that we are going to end up with our value for the hundred thousands to change which means it's going to increase plus one and we're going to left we're going to be left with our other digits to be zero and what we have here is 10 therefore this places our overall number to be in the millions so it will be all six zeros point zero 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 or you just put one million and this is how we are able to round to the nearest hundred thousands when you're given <laughs> the first digit that is on the left to be nine and the next digit that is right after it to be a value that is greater than or equal to five and final one here is round to the nearest hundredth now we are going to be looking at digits that are not before the decimal point we are looking at digits that are after the decimal point and so given that in mind we are going to figure out where our hundredth digit is and our hundredth digit on our number it is right over here and the number that is represented as the hundredth digit is two and from here we're going to ask hey the digit that is right after your hundredth digit which is the place value thousandth we're going to ask one hey are you what are you less than five or are you greater than or equal to five in this case it is really obvious one is less than five therefore it means that we're going to have this two to remain what the same and so once we have our two to remain the same it means that our thousandth digit will be zero and then everything else will stay the same therefore our final answer will be nine eight seven six five four point three two zero or you can just write it as nine eight seven six five four point three two so this is how it is done in terms of rounding numbers that is for example given this number or any variations of numbers that you might come across i hope you found this really informative in terms of rounding to the nearest tens to the nearest hundred thousandth to the nearest hundredth and many more things that we're going to be exploring now and on our future videos all the same stay smart as always and believe in yourselves